Here we are again with Vitalis. I hope you're well rested, had some food, well hydrated, because if not, you may run the risk of falling asleep during this quest. A sometimes underrated part of being a better gamer is taking care of yourself in meat space. I like to use a farcaster to grab some items from the blue box. If you're wondering why I was able to grab items from there so quickly, it's one of the features from If You Complete. Link in the description. It's really cool. I'm gonna be real with you. There's not much to this fight compared to the high rank version. Check my video on that if you want to know a bit more about his attacks and such. The too long didn't watch version is, at any time after 25 minutes if his health is low enough from where it started, he'll be repelled. The next time you fight him, he'll have that same health value, more or less. My strategy will be to hit his legs as much as I can, and there's a lot of opportunities to do that. Once he flies up, I avoid the fireballs and hit his head as he lands. I also want to use the ballistas to hit his wings. Fatalis can do a lot of damage with any of his attacks, so you need to be careful for about 25 minutes straight. If you've been playing Monster Hunter long enough, you'll know that's kind of normal. This fight goes on for a bit. I'll leave timestamps to certain highlights in the fight, such as using the Dragonator or the Gate, etc. And I'll try to have commentary throughout when it's appropriate. This seemed to happen quite a bit. When I'm behind him like this, he'd go forward to start his snap and drag, but wouldn't actually do it. That sound means he's gonna land. You'll only really get this from experience, but if you move forward enough from his shadow, you can hit his head as he comes down. This is important if you want to break his horns. I mean, I don't know, maybe there's a way to tell otherwise, but just keep trying and you'll get a feel for it. It's an optimization to sheathe your weapon or do some other lengthy animation like reloading if you know you're going to be hit by a roar. Landing sound. Nice. Oof. As you can see, the difficulty doesn't come from his moveset. It's just the insane damage that it'll deal. You'll kill yourself on him if you're not careful, but other than that, he's kinda harmless. Stay cautious. It's an endurance test. Don't get greedy. Hubris will end you. Oh look, the snap and drag. One of these days, he'll probably shoot a fireball from this guy. And today is that day. Just like Rathalos, just stand underneath him when he does this, and you'll be fine. If he shoots once, and then there's a long enough delay, however, he's coming down for a low hover. He'll probably do it in this hunt, and I'll mention it then. Also, as you can see, I'm not perfect every time when he comes down. Just do your best. It's the right decision to make, so it's okay if you mess it up. Also very important, pay attention to where you are when he starts turning. If he turns once but isn't facing you completely, he's going to turn again. Understanding when it's safe to be aggressive is a key part of playing Monster Hunter.
He should have made a sound to indicate what move he's doing by now, and since he hasn't, I know he's moving to the other side of the area. I'm going to take this time to set up for the Dragonator. I'm also not going to make you sit through it like I did. I'll skip ahead. Use your map to aim yourself when you're stuck in this cutscene thing. Don't neglect the strength of standing still. Your positioning is very important. Sometimes you just need to stop moving. Especially with a monster as slow as Fatalis. We're fighting Fatalis, so you bet I'm going to stay in purple sharpness as much as I can. In every action, be deliberate. Keep that in mind and you should be fine. When he's shooting fireballs at you, you can aim him to land in a certain direction. Make sure you aren't making him land facing a wall or something. Here's what I was talking about before. He's doing a low hover and chasing me. When this happens, just run normally and he'll stop once he gets close enough. I'm really just so good at video games. Whenever he flies up normally like that, it's likely that he's switching sides. This is honestly just a big time waster. But don't get impatient. That's how Fatalis kills you. I'm going up to the Ballista now to shoot him as he comes down. Remember that it doesn't matter where you shoot him, it'll always deal the same amount of damage. That being said, if you want a certain part broken, you should aim for that.
I like to hit his head once, since it's the first breakable part you can hit. Then the wings, since breaking the wings with a melee weapon seems like it's pretty difficult. I want to say in multiplayer, especially with someone using a bow or bow gun, breaking the wings would be a lot easier and consistent. You definitely don't want to be in front of him at any time, unless he's currently turning. Like you saw earlier, if you get hit by him going low to the ground, it could easily kill you. When he does that fireball, it's also a decent chance to hit his head, but it's a tighter window. I prefer to focus on the legs for more consistent DPS. When he's turning, watch out for his tail. You need to avoid both his front and his back. Be sure to attack through wind pressure to prevent being locked in place. It really is just that easy. Joking. Anyways, I'm not the biggest fan of fighting him so close to the wall, it gives me less room. But getting Fatalis to be where you want him to be can be annoying, so I just work around it. He's very slow and doesn't move much.
Another very good reason to not move too much is that sometimes you can move into an attack that the monster would have missed if you just stood still. I said this a while ago, but think of Monster Hunter as a turn-based game. If you act out of turn, you'll be punished. Many times I'll move across the monster's path to avoid its attack when it turns towards me, and it just doesn't attack that it doesn't need to turn in order to do. For example, if you preemptively pass Fatalis' front before he starts turning, he could just lay down on you and kill you. You've got to be wary of these things. By the way, if you're still watching, I appreciate you. If you're still watching and you're not subscribed, maybe consider it. If you are subscribed, maybe consider checking out my membership. I set it as low as I can for the first tier, if you'd like. Either way, thanks for watching this far. Also, if you skipped ahead, that's fine too. I appreciate you too. Lamau. When that happens, it means he's enraged. At least I'm pretty sure. I just checked the quest timer, and it's been about 20 minutes. Just 5 minutes left to go. If you're able to, I'd recommend you do this quest with others. Especially if you can voice chat, assuming you're not in the same room. If you fail the quest, his health value will still be lowered, so you will not get the rewards that you would get if you successfully repel him. While that sucks, and you should aim to repel him, if your ultimate goal is to kill Fatalis, you can just keep chipping away at him like that. Abandoning the quest or restarting your game will not keep his health where it was at, of course. In this quest, Fatalis has 26,000 health. The minimum he can have is 5,200, so you need to do at least that much for each quest. I believe he also has a defense modifier of 56%, meaning his effective health value is 46,428. I checked with an HP display cheat, so my way of finding that out was not exactly scientific. That may have been subtle, but I wanted to sharpen, he flew up, I went under him, and then I waited for him to start shooting a fireball before sharpening. There was a chance that he would have just come straight down after flying up, so I didn't want to risk having my sharpen interrupted and taking damage. Come on, boy. Yeah! I was lucky. If he had lowered down, it would have hit me.
Okay, lame. And there we have it. Grank Fatalis is down. I checked how much health it had after this, and I dealt 11,447 damage, leaving it with 14,553 health. Not bad if I do say so myself. And I do say so myself. The worst part about Fatalis is the sleep ailment he can inflict on you. Not your character, on you. Just stay vigilant throughout the fight, and you'll do fine. I know that may be easier said than done. It's an endurance test, remember that. I'd recommend getting help if only to make it less boring, but either way, good luck. You've got this.